hello and welcome everyone, Sunyan here, and this is yet another Python video, second in two days, I hadn't done one in a year and a half before that. So this is going to be all about fractals and Python turtle, and by the end of it, which I think is going to be less than 20-25 minutes, you're going to learn how to draw a fractal tree forest, leaves and all. So just a couple of quick uh, features and look at the code here. We actually create uh, uh, five separate turtles, so five turtle objects, and we give them some features here in this for loop. So I think that's fairly fancy. After which is a recursive function that draws a tree and then a loop that runs each turtle through that function. It might all look like Chinese, but trust me, we're going to do this in baby steps. So let me get my face off of here and let's get started. All right, so here we are, blank canvas. Our very first goal is going to be to draw this, and I'm horrible at drawing here, but this Y shape that looks like that. Because if you think about that replicating itself, these are smaller Y's and then these are smaller Y's, you quickly get to a point where you are drawing a tree. So I'm gonna exit this drawing and then we're gonna have a think about how to do that. So I'm gonna import turtle from turtle, import star. I'm just gonna use one turtle, not five objects or anything like that. I'll set speed to 100. I'll turn it up so that it faces upwards. So left 90. And now I'm gonna step by step have a think about how we draw that Y. So if we were to go forward 100, and then if we were to, maybe I'm gonna already create a variable here. I'm gonna call this one angle, and angle is 30. So after the forward, we're gonna go um, left, by angle and then forward a hundred times 0.7. I mean, I could have just written 70. In fact, I might just, um, I might just create distance equals a hundred and then I'm gonna use this variable. So you'll see in a minute what I'm doing. So forward distance. So this is gonna be sort of the first little branch. So we've turned left. Now we're gonna turn right. And that's gonna be angle times two. And then we're gonna go forward that distance again. And then actually, I think I need to go forward and this is going to go backward. So right angle times two and backward. And I think this should draw the Y. What, what we want to do, however, is finish back where we started. So we're going to go left angle again and we're going to go backwards the whole distance. So there is sort of the most of the trick. And now the question is, how do we make this recursive? Well, I guess you can start by creating a function. So def, we're gonna call this branch and we can have in it, um, we can specify angle and distance or we can keep that variable. I suppose we need to specify the, um, the distance. Maybe I'm going to call it branch length. And that could be it. Sorry to change the variable names on you like that. 
that's not the nicest thing to do, but, you know, I'm sure you'll forgive me. So we're going to go branch length, and branch length is a bit more intuitive in terms of drawing trees. So we can probably get rid of this from here. So we got branch of branch length. And this is where you want to draw another branch. Instead of just going forward and back, you want to draw another branch. So we're going to draw another branch instead of these two. We're going to draw a branch and we're going to make that length multiplied by 0.7. So that ought to do it. That one there replaces that there. Um, I have a feeling this could be it. So if we were to then just branch down here, cold branch of a hundred, and we'd get an error. Angle is not defined, right? So we can say in here, angle equals to 30. Okay. Let's have a think about this. It needs a condition. This should only uh, run if branch length is greater than something. So if branch underscore len is greater than 10, perhaps. Let's run that. Ooh, there it is. We just drew a tree. And from here on in, it is just a question of figuring out how to upgrade that tree. So where to start, really? I guess we're going to need to specify some colors, some thicknesses. Um, Let's, and of course, randomize some things. So I'm, I'm going to need to import random and I'm going to import it like this random import star. And let's try to begin work on, on some of these things that are going to get randomized. So why don't I set the angle before that if statement and we say it random dot rand int maybe 22 to 30. So if you watch what happens here, oh, I don't need the random dot random. I can just use the function. If you watch what happens here, this tree is already a little bit randomized. Next, what we want to randomize is this 0.7. So I'm going to create something I'm going to call shrink factor SF. And that's going to be random dot uniform except I don't need the dot I'll just call it uniform and we can make it 0.6 to 0.8 so now all of a sudden we've got random branch lengths and we have a little bit more of a natural tree as you can see like it's not perfectly symmetric it's a little bit wonky this is going to make it a little bit more uneven because some some branches have a potential of being much, much longer. Oh, of course, this is not wonky because I'm not multiplying that by SF. What's wrong with me? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So 0.9 is probably too big. We're going to shift back to 0.8. But there it is. The branches have random length. So what's next? Well, we were going to draw five trees. And for that, I guess we're going to need five turtles. And the way you create a turtle is you can say T1 equals to turtle. And that's how you create a turtle object. So <laughs> I guess I can just do that. One, two, three, four. And now we've got five turtle objects. 
We've also got REPL crashing on us. Be good REPL. T5. And if we're going to have five objects, we should give them all some properties. And for that, we should put turtles in a list equals to a list of T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. So this here gives us five turtles. And now we can cycle through this list and do something to each and every one of these turtles. So for T in turtles, what do we want to do to them? I guess we can set all of their speeds to 100. I guess we can point all of them upwards. Since our tree is going to be brown initially, we can say t.color is brown. What else can we do? We can go place them in a random location. So um, how are we going to do this? So I guess T is going to be pen up and then T dot go to. And if I was to position them and I'm going to point to you like this out D. So if I wanted one tree here and then I want the next one there and the next one there and the next one there and the next one there. How would I go about it? Well, here's what I think is going to work pretty well. We could set X, some X value to, why is it all caps lock? X equals the negative 200. And we can iterate x, x plus equals to rand int. So we add anywhere between 80 and 160 to it. And we go to x or for y, we can do a range rand int minus 100 to 100. So hopefully when I run this, these turtles are going to go into five random places. And once I've done that, I guess I need to make this um, function receive turtles. So I'm going to say turt here, and then we're going to run each of these things with a turt dot. And, and the branch is going to take the third comma. Okay. So let's draw five trees. And then we're going to try to make those trees fancy. So for T in turtles. We can branch t comma one hundred. So as you can see, it positions the trees like this. So I've lifted the pen up. I've never really put the pen down. <laughs> so we're gonna do this t dot pd. All right. Here we go again. It's gonna draw these five brown trees. As you can see, that's those are the positions of the trees. And at this point, I've done all of the sort of five turtle objects. And all I need to do here is create little improvements to improve this function. So while while it's drawing, I hope it's not too disconcerting. I'm going to have a look at what we can do to improve this thing. So we can actually create a size variable. And the size could be a function of the length. So that could be branch 
len and we'll just divide that by 10. And then we're gonna say turtle dot pen size size. You might want to convert this to an integer, but I don't think it's necessary. I think turtle takes floats uh, without any issues. Not turtle dot pen size. At this point, we're doing tut. That's our function parameter. And so you got these nicer uneven trees. Next, we may want to have a look at how to do um, leaves. So you can just say something like if branch len is less than 20, you could draw a leaf. So you can send the color to green. So this is it. We're using this to dot color. green, we can leave a stamp, tert dot stamp. And we set it back to brown. Brown. I have a feeling this is, this is enough. So we've already got these trees in winter. And now spring has come. They are blooming. If you want brighter colors than green, you can maybe try lime or it might have light green. Turtle's got lots of colors. But really, I'm going to leave that to play out and I will fast forward it so you can enjoy it. But that's it. I think we've, we've done it in about 40 lines of code a little recursive tree forest. And there you have it. That is the fractal tree forest drawn by five turtles. I hope you had fun. Um, anything else? Guys, like this thing, subscribe. And if you leave 50 likes out there, I'm going to try to upgrade this thing to add grass, maybe some trees, make it a crazy fractal nature scene. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.